Hello, this video is going to show how we can perform object code verification using Texas Instruments Code Composer Studio and a TMS320. Now connected to my PC at the moment, I have this particular evaluation board. It's an F28335. Now, if we look at the, the DL178C standard, it says that not only do you need to ensure you have 100% structural coverage of the source code, but at the end of the day, that source code then gets converted by the compiler and linker into object code or executable object code. And for the DAO level A, we need to ensure that the compiler and linker has not generated any additional code that can't be traced back to source code statements. So let's take a look and see how we can perform this. Now, the starting point is Code Composer Studio. Inside Code Composer Studio, I've created a simple project for an F28335 with a number of source files. And this particular source file is the one that I want to start with. I want to test the C code here and ensure I've got 100% structural coverage. So let's do that by using LDRay's TB Run. This is a unit testing tool. And inside here, I've created test cases for all the functions inside that file. And for each of these particular functions, as we can see, I've specified inputs and also, most importantly, the expected outputs. So what I want to be able to do is to execute this. Let's go and do that. So this is now generated a harness. It's now built it using the C2000 compiler. It's now downloading it to my target. It's actually uh, erasing the flash. It's then going to program the flash and then it's going to start executing. And we're going to start seeing some output here. And at the end, it's then going to analyze the output we've got. And hopefully we should find that all our tests pass. And there we can see, yes, they do all pass. So that means with these inputs, we got the outputs that we expected here. So that's good. What about the coverage? Well, in this particular case, we can see for this file, we've got the expected 100% statement coverage, 100% branch decision coverage, and also 100% MCDC. So now what I want to be able to do is to execute the very same tests on the assembler code. So we're going to ask the compiler to generate the assembler code for these, uh, this file. We're then going to instrument that will execute the tests and we'll be able to take a look and see, well, have we got full coverage of the underlying assembler code? So to do that, I'm switching into this particular mode. And once again, let's go and execute these on the target. And this time what it's done is it's asked the compiler to generate the assembler code from the C code. We then analyze that assembler code and put probes in, basically instrumenting it so we can get the coverage. So once again, it's built it, it's downloaded to the target. It's now going to start executing. And just as before, we're going to get the output here. So again, we're going to analyze the results and we should find that the tests pass. So that means that the tests have worked exactly the same as before. So the code is, or our instrumentation has not affected the uh, tests. So now let's take a look at the coverage. So in this particular case, I'm going to go and view the dynamic coverage analysis report. And the good news is we can see it's passed. So instead of running on the .c file, this time we've run on the .assembler file. And we've got these two functions, integer to ASCII and display value. And we have 100% statement coverage and 100% branch decision coverage. And of course, there is no MCDC. And if we scroll down, we can see very clearly for all these functions, we can see the uh, assembler code, scroll down into here. There we can see the assembler code and we can see very clearly exactly how many times have we executed every line of code. And in this particular case, we can see that the compiler has not generated any additional code that can't be traced back to any requirement. We can also take a look at the branches. And once again, we can see we've executed every branch. OK, so hopefully that's given you a, a short introduction to object code verification using the uh, Texas Instruments Code Composer Studio 
with a TMS320 device. And if you'd like more information, then please don't hesitate to contact us at LDRA. Thank you.